ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing Division 2. I'm not making a new character. I'm just kidding. I'm definitely making a new character. We're going to play through the main stories. I'll try not to focus too much on side missions unless I actually need to level up in order to progress through the story missions. So far, I've enjoyed this game. Uh, I got about 20 hours and my highest ranked character is level 22. Which by no means is even like scratching the surface on this game. Uh, I haven't beaten the game yet. Usually the level cap's about level 30 and then you go by gear score kind of like Destiny where there's the light score and once you hit a certain level then you don't progress levels anymore and then you switch to their more refined version I guess. Um, yeah, the game's good. I don't, I, I don't really know what the story is besides protecting DC and trying to save DC after uh, the infection that spread and killed a bunch of the world's population in the first one. I know there's new factions and all that kind of stuff, of course. The factions are pretty crazy. They have strongholds, which will, I could probably do those. I think those are essentially the game's raids um, that allow us to do that, but I could be completely wrong. Apparently there was also a big update, which adds a new stronghold and everything else. Yeah, this game gets, unlike most games that are out now, this game actually gets free big content updates. And other games don't really do that as much. You have to pay, of course, behind a stupid paywall. And I think that we're all pretty well sick of paywalls. I know I am. Really tired of them. I just want to play a game and get free content. Content that, one, should have been in the game. Or just... <laughs> It should just be free. We shouldn't be paying for a bunch of craziness. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's create our character.
Okay, confirming. We're doing it. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Let's go save DC in this beautiful looking game. Over here! Agent! Meet me at the gate. Priority mission highlighted. Proceed to the macro. Over. There you are. Hostile threat oh, detected. Oh, dang. Got it, oh. Coming from behind oh, that that's our base. Keep firing and take them out. Oh, they keep <laughs> coming. Hold the line. Take cover. Oh, he's down. Did you give her running up there like a madman? Screw you. Oh, damn. You have to hold on, Agent De La Cruz. Oh. Well. Someone check the perimeter. See to those barricades. And have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Yeah, look at me. Come on. I'm the sheriff, this. bitches. Of course I'm okay. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Not again. Get to the waterfront! That can't be right. Uh oh. Oh dang, there's a boat in this super stormy weather. Those turrets are so hard in this game. You gotta put them out and manually aim them, but it's when you're in the heat of combat, sitting there having to manually aim everything's pretty tough. This is a distress code. The coordinates for Washington. Like instead of me just shooting people. How is this possible? Get down! I gotta be doing this. Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened. It needs to be fixed, or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! Oh, shit's hitting the fan. Ah, I wanted to fight. We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped each, each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted, we survived, established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing, create nothing. Hyenas, Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. 
but we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out, Who can save us then? Cutscenes are pretty freaking cool looking. Incoming alert on the SHD emergency channel. Flash, priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. All these blue ones like this, they are always restocks. They have some other other crates and stuff, of course. They have weapons and armor and mods and all that, but if you're familiar with Division 1, you know all of that's true. They did do a good job with this game Agent, if you can hear us on this compared to the first one. The first one, forward and blindside these I got bored of pretty quickly. This one, even though I haven't technically beaten it yet, it's, uh, it's a fun game. I mean, for a game that I didn't even really know the story to, I'm just kind of learning it because I was playing with friends, and when you're playing with friends, you tend to rush through stuff, and you're like, oh, I don't care, just keep moving. <laughs> But now getting to learn the story and everything, it's uh, it's not too bad. Although it'll probably be like your, your copy paste, everyday, shoot 'em up kind of game. Same kind of storyline, I guess. And good night. Him on fire, fire for you, and fire for you, and fire for you. That guy's just floating in the air. What is going on here? What? 
what? There you go. Yeah, good night. Oh, I'm on fire. God, it was tough to see over there. Oh, hey, thanks for putting all that out. Just so that I could walk in the gates. Hey, base of operations. Lighthouse is ours. So are we the president now? Is that what's gonna happen? I gotta get all regal up in this bitch. Let's check out this monument. Bam! Compared to Division 1, the world in this game is much more filled out and there is lots of stuff to do. It's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Oh, fair warning, I don't think this is where I see the first ugly character. The NPCs and the people that are a part of the story Oh man, they are pretty freaking ugly looking in this game. I don't know what they chose to do design-wise, but man, it's rough. Some people look okay though. This is you. Welcome to DC. The sheriff's in town, boys. I'm guessing the divisional alert brought you here. Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions, and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating out of the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. Hey! By the way, Agent, head downstairs and check in with the quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need the edge. All right, I think we are going to go ahead and stop this episode here. Leveled up to level two. It's a good stopping point. It's in between missions. Um, we'll go talk to the quartermaster next time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll do it next time. Okay. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time on the next episode of Division, where I'll be running around just like this when we start. Thank you.